Big thanks to Cirrus and Continental Aerospace for supporting Flyer's coverage of Aero 2025. I'm here with Seneca Gizi, who is director of Cirrus IQ, um, who's produced this amazing app, Cirrus IQ Pro. Now, we right. spoke a couple of years ago, 2023, the original Cirrus IQ. This looks completely different. I'm assuming, is, is that just a kind of cosmetic change or has it got extra stuff? It's a complete overhaul of not only our back end decoding, but our front end experience here. So we have an all new user experience and interface. Um, the graphics are more closely aligned with what you see inside of the aircraft uh, with the fuel, oil, and icing fluid. And IQ Pro introduces a suite of new features to make aircraft management easier and vertically integrated. You're able to track all of your inspections that are required, all of your life limited parts. You can see any tech publication issued for that aircraft and your utilization, which is your flight log, uh, is more detailed now and you're able to see all the information about the flight, cast messages, so cautions and warning messages that occurred in flight, add passengers and their reason for joining you on that flight. If you share your aircraft with other pilots, you can name who the pilot was, and then all of those flights that you put yourself on or your colleagues flow into what we call My Trips, and that creates a personal Cirrus log for you about all the flights you've taken in the aircraft. Is it fastest ground speed and other highlights of that particular? That's right. Okay. So if I just zoom in on one of these flights here, uh, this one was Knoxville to Lakeland for Sun and Fun. We have date, route, Matthew Park flew this. And then here we see departure and arrival time, duration and distance, number of takeoffs and landings, total hours, total tack time, and our maximum indicated airspeed and ground speeds and fuel consumed during the flight. Approach score, which is one of our most exciting features since we launched, which is in beta form. This grades the last 500 feet to landing. We wanna make sure our pilots uh, get good feedback, even when their instructors leave their side. And so this is showing them how well they did in terms of airspeed over the numbers, airspeed at touchdown, glide path, lateral alignment, and where they configured before 500 feet. Now I should state that this is in the US only at the moment, but we're working uh, to make this available worldwide as soon as possible. That's kind of, I mean, he did pretty well, 97%. That's right. That was quite impressive. I hope that all your Cirrus pilots will have this with a board and a monthly Average, so you, and, on, bragging on, on right. the, and bragging rights, yeah, That's right, yeah, and the person who gets the least buys the beers or something. <laughs> um, I, I'm interested in the maintenance side of things because that's something that uh, it can be quite difficult for an owner, particularly if an owner is new to aviation, knowing when to get the maintenance bits done, when they've got to keep track of this, and when, when yeah, things like ELT batteries and stuff need replacing, and in the Cirrus, the caps, and I'm sure there's a lot of other things, but things like 100 hour inspections and annuals and stuff like that. So that's also included here. That's correct. So if you go to life limited parts, this is broken down into two sections. One is your airworthiness items. Yeah. And the other is your general items. This is coming directly from our aircraft maintenance manual, which dictates the time or date based intervals for those parts. And if I were to activate this right now, since this is a new aircraft, I just choose no. And that is choosing zero hours or the certificate of airworthiness state. Now, it says that the brake assembly is due in 58 Two months. months. As I fly and hours accumulate and time goes by, this will count down. And at the moment, an owner is required to update each individual card. But as we continue building on the great work released by the team here, we're going to connect our authorized service network into the IQ ecosystem and allow our service centers to update this on behalf of our customers. Okay, I was going to say there'll be there must be at some point a, a kind of working with service centers over all this information. That's right. However, in conversations we had with our owner group, many have disparate systems or solutions to track all this, and this brings it all under one roof and makes it easy. Yeah. Especially because the intervals are already pre-populated for specific parts. So that would be really useful for for, for someone operating a fleet. I mean, it's right. bad enough for one aircraft, but kind of, kind of keeping track of 
three or more aircraft is, is quite a task. That's right. And the good news is not only with IQ Pro launching, we also made this available on our website through what we call the portal. Okay. And if you have a fleet of aircraft, tracking it on our website through the portal is much easier versus on the mobile app. And so basically, does this come does this come free with every service or does every service person have access to this? Yeah, so the hardware is standard on every service delivered today. And every new owner will receive a one year trial of IQ Pro. Okay. And afterwards, it'll require a subscription. Okay. And the, the pricing is not yet announced for that, is it? It's not. We'll announce it in Q4 of 2025 prior to when we start our subscriptions. For now, everybody gets to enjoy using IQ Pro uh, since we launched it. We want to get feedback and make improvements right away before we actually start charging for it. Okay. And you mentioned earlier, you mentioned in passing so much to do with documentation. Oh, so I'm sorry, that is under tech publications. Tech publications, there so you go. Here um, are all the documents, whether it's service advisory, service bulletins, flight manuals, or software updates to uh, the avionics. And I click the filter. This allows me to choose the category of the document I'm looking for. And so if I want to look for supplemental additions to the pilot operating handbook, I choose that filter. And here we go. I can just open up one of these. There is the document and I can share this or download it and save it. Okay. Very easy. So pretty much you've got access to all the documentation you could need right on your phone. That's right. Not thinking I better go and see what's in the hotel room or back in the back, back seat of the aircraft or That's something. Right. Okay. And do, do you track the usage of this by, are you able to track how many people are using it, which things they're using, which are the most popular features? Uh, so new for IQ and IQ Pro is our analytic system that we uh, implemented, which will allow us to do those things and help us understand where uh, our customers are using the features the most mm. um, and give us feedback on how we can improve it to make it even better and more useful. So things like the fuel quantity that we, you know, we're looking there and uh, it's got 53 gallons, needs another 39 gallons to stop it off um, or seven gallons to go to tabs. Yes. How is that actually getting that fuel quantity? Is that from the last time you left the aircraft or does it poll the aircraft and say, how much fuel have you got? So every time you fly, when you land and shut down, that information sent to the Cirrus cloud and we process that so this is coming directly from the avionics on the aircraft. If you were to request fuel at an FBO and have them say top off the tanks, but you're away from the aircraft, IQ Pro lets you do a remote aircraft sync and you click the sync now button. And if you confirm that sync, it will wake the aircraft and turn the PFD on to read the new fuel level and send that back to the app. Oh, wow. And then turn it off again. That's you, right. Like Absolutely. That nice. process takes less than five minutes. Okay, cool. When you log into Cirrus Aircraft, it takes you now to my portal. And when you click on my hangar, anybody that's running a fleet can now see all of their aircraft at a glance here on our website. Click on any aircraft and you have a more comprehensive view compared to the small screen on the mobile app. But all the same information is being shared here with few exceptions. Uh, we're making updates to this uh, every day. Uh, so here I still see inspections. We have service history. Um, so any visits to a Cirrus authorized service center that enters our system, we get to see that information. That is unique to the web so the feature. Virtual tool. Tech publications as I showed on the phone and of course utilization. And so I click on that same flight I showed you on the mobile app here, much bigger screen and detail, but if you're operating a fleet, uh, this just gives you a better, quick view of the fleet here. And we're going to continue adding and iterating several features that are optimized for fleets in this solution. There's so much that could be, so many possibilities. Absolutely. Uh, and the, uh, in, in years to come, if you have, if anyone's buying an aircraft, a Cirrus aircraft, and, and the owner's willing to share what's the, the data from from that aircraft, yeah. you will pretty much have a very, the most comprehensive record of that aircraft than you could 
ever have. That's right. From anyone else. That's right. And uh, again, just to reiterate, this is also on Vision Jet. So here we have 291 Alpha Hotel outside the showgrounds there. Um, and same features if I want to estimate my fuel for the Vision Jet. This is a new feature for IQ Pro. Mm -hmm. So if I want 200 gallons, this is going to show me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. um, I meant to do that. So now uh, I have 35 gallons on the left and 36 gallons on the right to get to 200, 200. total. Yeah. 